good morning everyone hello hello thank you so much for stopping by if this is your first time be sure to subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by and be sure to stick around to watch to the end of this video this video is just gonna be about my day activity today on my day off I'm just gonna be like cooking with you all cleaning showing you how much we spend at the grocery store for my family of two and I hope you sit back and enjoy I'm just currently making something called bean stew and this is me chopping off my garlic and I have some tomatoes on the side with some bell pepper that I'm gonna add to my bean stew and some onions as well so this is just how I usually make my bean stew I like to use the um, baked beans because it tastes sweet to me and I just like to you know do the whole blend of African palm oil add my spice my salt my maggi my crayfish my Cameroonian pepper and I also add this very special cube that's called onga which you're gonna see very soon this takes the taste of my food to a very different level I also add some curry as well to you know bring out the taste of this with Maggie as you can see here as well So the majority of my ingredients have been added to this um, onions and garlic um, preparation so I'm just stirring it to blend the um, taste of the food and blend all the ingredients together so you know they don't taste one side doesn't taste better than the other and yeah you can see I've added my tomatoes my bell pepper my bay leaves and that is what I'm just stirring so I can distribute the ingredients evenly across all parts and sections of this food And lastly, I'm just going to be adding my beans to my sauce, my bell, my bell pepper and tomato sauce. And this is the beans that I've added. And I'm just going to let it sit and cook for a really long time because cooking your food for a really long time helps to bring out the taste in the food and helps to, you know, blend all the ingredients together and distribute them evenly across all parts of the food. So the next activity for today is the cleaning of the fridge. I had to use this opportunity to, you know, disassemble, disassemble the fridge, remove everything I had in there just to clean it and, you know, keep it organized because I usually just clean, but I haven't done a deep cleaning to this extent. And I hope you watch with me, follow along. If you need to clean your fridge, I feel like this is the best time for you to do that as well. 
All I use to clean my fridge is just soap, water, and vinegar. And of course, you also need to make sure that you're removing every food or everything you have in your fridge, basically just as I did, just so nothing is in the way of your cleaning and you're also like removing the compartments of the fridge so you can get into those spots where like let's say food particles like to dwell on and dust and whatever, just so you're getting every aspect of it. And of course, you have to turn off the fridge or like decrease the temperature to the best you can so you don't want to clean a fridge while it's really cold you know As for the compartments of the fridge, I take my time to wash them with my sponge and soap and water just because I feel like that's the best way to do it and you know it makes you see everything you're washing and you're very sure about what you're washing and I just allow to air dry myself. I don't like to use um, cloths or paper towel to clean dishes in general so I just prefer to air dry so it doesn't leave any marks or streaks for me. Knocking doors, go place to place looking for. Oh, no one can love you the way I do. Okay, so I'm just reassembling the parts of the fridge so I can um, put in all my ingredients and my food stuff. And yeah, as you can see, it's gonna air dry on its own. Like it's not fully dry. As you can see, some of them are still wet, but that's totally okay because I'm putting it back in the fridge and it's, like, it's gonna be a cool compartment. So it's gonna assist with the drying process further before I start to put uh, food stuff back into the fridge. So I'm not really worried about that.
and voila that is the end product of this cleaning as you can see my fridge looks sparkling and I'm so happy that I got to do this Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back again to another edition of Moments with Lulu. If you are new to the channel, please make sure you're subscribed so you're always, always getting notifications whenever I put up a new video. And for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. So I've decided today to take you along with me to the grocery store to see how much we spend per month as a family of two here in Canada. You know, grocery can be really expensive depending on the time of the year okay depending on the time of the year depending on what you need as a family and some months are not um, the same as some months you might see yourself spending a lot more this month and next month you're spending a lot less you know it varies I was gonna show you all of this I'm sure it's probably not only me who does this so basically I remember when we were growing up my mom will make us um, get pen and paper and make a list of things that we need to get every wednesday at oil meal market for those who know the popular oil meal market in Port Harcourt or just get list or every time we have to go get something out of the house to like a supermarket a market square anywhere at all that involves buying something my mom will make us make a list like even if we're not the ones going she'll make us go get pen and paper and like you know make a list of like grocery and all of that so I don't know I've always done this myself too because you know I guess like something can, can never leave you when you're growing up so since I'm going to the grocery store and I'm physically going there I've like distributed my list in two so these are the things I'll get from the regular superstore like Canadian store and these are the things that I know that I can only get from the African store and that's what I have on this paper here And yeah, at the store I did get some plantain, some spinach, some tomatoes, some ginger, some garlic. You see, that is the essence of making a list. That way you don't come to the store to buy things you don't necessarily need. But maybe like things you want or things you think that you may want or you may need when you actually don't need them. But when you sit at home and you know, go through stuff of what you have and what you don't have, that way you'll be able to easily determine what you actually need and you'll be able to allocate a specific budget to your grocery shopping for the month. Personally, I am really, really, really particular about the kind of meat I get. I pay close attention to the color, to the type of the meat, to the expiry date. If I see that there's a change in color, in the sense that it's not fresh, like some parts are fresher than others, I automatically don't buy that. And I also look at the kilograms, the weight of the meat I'm getting, just because I feel like all of these things matter. And I don't know, I'm just really, really particular about meat products like this. And of course my baked beans I usually love to have these baked beans at home because this is what I usually use to make my beans stew 
so this is a necessity I buy like two to three cans and just store it at home so when I need it it is easily accessible and I usually try to have bell pepper and tomatoes at home because I really need this ingredient for whatever kind of stew or sauce I decide to make Currently at the counter to pay for ingredients and foodstuff that have been purchased. So, closely, approximately, what was spent on grocery was something close to two hundred dollars, Canadian dollars to be specific. But I usually don't go past two hundred Canadian dollars just because um, there's some things that I, like I said, I have some things at home that I don't need to buy in the next grocery, and some things that I buy now I don't necessarily have to buy them in the next grocery. Things like fish, you know, um, honey, um, toilet paper, you know, these kind of things that do last long when you purchase them rice. I don't need to buy rice, for example, moving forward. But yeah, this is what we spend as a family of two for my sister and I. And I think it's pretty decent for our living situation as well. And I mean, you also want to spend according to your coat or according to what your pocket allows for. And that brings me to the end of today's video or vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions about living in Canada, expenses in Canada, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the subsequent videos. Bye now. Mm -hmm.